Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you the latest news and transfer news from the DSTV Premiership as KZ Chiefs midfielder Esten Castillo is linked with a move away from KZ Chiefs and I have the latest also on the future of Havale Sohota and Samuel Faradebe now. If you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week now without wasting your time. Let me begin by talking about Esten Castillo. Now Esten Castillo, the KZ Chiefs midfielder, is linked with a move away from the club with Zam Malek uh, reported to have inquired about the availability of uh, the K6 midfielder ahead of the 2024-2025 season. So what has happened now? Zamalek FC have been monitoring the situation of Edson Castillo for a long time now and now they've decided it is the right time to inquire about the player as they noticed that the player may be available because he has not been the main man at Amakosi for a while now, especially since the turn of the year. So since 2024, they realized that uh, Edson Castillo has not really been the main man in the midfield at Amakosi. So they've now inquired about the availability of uh, the player. Now this is coming in from uh, Soka Laduma online. So they are saying that Kinships are not going to rush to make a decision on the situation of Edson Castillo. So his future is going to be decided before the end of the season. But as of right now, Kinships really, really need to try and focus on the league and try and finish as high as possible in the KC match band. They want to see the type of role that Edson Castillo can play in making sure that the team ends as high as possible in the league. So Edson Castillo linked to the move to Zamalek and also uh, sources close to KC have suggested that a price tag in the region of 30 million has been uh, talked about internally at Amako. So it may cost Zamalek FC around 30 million rands to sign Edson Castillo from KC Chiefs. But also, um, Zamalek are said to be very, very serious on the situation of Edson Castillo and they're going to try and push as much as they can and the price tag of 30 million rand may not be a problem. So let's wait and see what is going to happen with the situation of Edson Castillo linked with a move away from KZ Chiefs just uh, about eight months after joining the club. So moving on, I want to talk about Hawales Hoda. Now the former KZ Chiefs midfielder has been without a club after being released by Stellenbosch FC due to disciplinary reasons. But right now, right here, we know Hawales Hoda has been uh, training with Moroga Soros, like I reported before. The player has been training with Moroga Soros, hoping to score a contract. But now, I'm told at the moment, Hawales Hoda is not going to be active. This is coming in from the SABC sport. Hawales Hoda will not be able to sign uh, with Moroga Soros. will not be able to play professional football until the beginning of 2023, in the beginning of 2024-2025 season, because at uh, the time his contract was terminated by Stellenbosch FC, the registrations for players were already closed in the DSTV Premiership. So Hawales Hoda will have to be patient and wait for the new season or the transfer window to reopen again. So how is is going to remain a free agent, but he has an option to sign uh, a pre-contract with Moroga Solos. So Moroga Solos have been the only team that have shown a keen interest in signing Kawale Sokota ahead of the next season. So let's wait and see what is going to happen, but uh, the player is going to continue to train with Moroga Solos. Whether or not they're going to offer him a new contract, we will, a contract will wait and see. So another player, last player I want to talk about in this video is Savelo Radeve. Now the case of midfielder is linked with a move to Amazulu. So Amazulu have inquired also about the availability of Savelo Radeve going into the 2024-2025 season. No, at this moment, they are not willing to sell Savelo Radeve. So case chiefs will not entertain any permanent transfers for Savelo Radeve. What they will do is they will consider loaning him out for the 2024-2025 season because they still believe that Savelo Radeve can be a part of the future at Amakosi. So Amazulu are going to try and push to sign Savelo Radeve on a permanent transfer in the upcoming transfer window. But Kansas City, they have their own stance. They do not want to sell Savelo Radeve. They feel he can bring something to the team in the future. So give me your opinion on the players that I mentioned in this video. I mentioned Savel Radev, I mentioned Aston Castillo as well as Hawele Sokota. Give me your opinion. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen with these players? Do you think Aston Castillo will leave KC just a year after joining the club? Do you think Hawele Sokota will play for Moroga Salos in the upcoming season? And also, where do you think Savel Radev will play in the 2024-2025 season? Now, thank you for watching Zanzi. Give me your opinion on players and also leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new on Just Football.